well I'll probably have a, an, an initial week off um, and then I'll be working with Dean Harris doing doing a lot of power and speed and agility and, and power work um, as I feel that's a part of my game that needs slightly improving um, so I can come back uh, in better shape than, than usual. I've literally said for, for weeks to Dean, um, we've got to get a plan together because it's, it's going to be a little bit different for me because I, I don't particularly need the rest. Um, so we, we get, we've got a schedule together and we're going to do a, a lot of work. Um, I'm, only, I'm only taking a few days away at the end of, the end of June, ready for pre-season to, to come back in a slightly fresher mindset. So um, yeah, I, I can't wait to get started and come back in good shape. No, I'm not like Andy Taylor who says he's got the, the fastest metabolism in the world. Um, now, obviously, I cut down on carbs during the during the off season because you you don't need as much energy and, and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you, you just look at look after what you eat because you won't need to, to eat as much and, and drink as much as usual. Um, just every, I think everyone knows how to how to look after their bodies, and I think I've got a a good little plan together. Yeah, you speak to the gaffer and, and John Whitney and they'll say they uh, used to, to come back three kilos overweight and, and work even harder to run it off in, in pre-season. But um, yeah, times have changed now and if anything, it's personal pride, I think. Um, no one wants to come back like that and no one wants to be that, that little bit behind. So um, my aim is to come back and, and be one step ahead of everyone else and, and fly. Yeah, we got we do body fats uh, every month or so, so um, nobody wants to be at the top of that. Um, but everyone everyone's different at the end of the day, and everyone lives their lives in different ways. So um, it's up to them to to use that to the best advantage.